Hey guys, how are you today? I want to briefly go over Parkinson's disease since it's one of the more important diseases that you do have to study for your NCLEX exam. Now, with Parkinson's disease, it mainly affects the nerve cells in the brain, specifically the nerve cells that produces dopamine. Okay. Now, we call Parkinson's disease a progressive disorder of the nervous system, and it mostly affects the movement. Right. Therefore. Our main symptoms would be related to our patient's movement, such as muscle rigidity. There would be tremors, right? There would be some changes in speech, which is what we call aphasia, right? And also, it affects the gait or walking um, with our patient, okay? Now, remember that after diagnosis, right, the treatments for our patient can help relieve the symptoms, but there is no cure for Parkinson's disease. Again, after we diagnose our patient, our treatment can help alleviate the symptoms, but there's no cure for our patient. Now, there are mainly two general approaches, right, to treating our patient with Parkinson's disease in regards with, I'm talking about medication, in regards with pharmacological interventions, okay? Now, the first approach is to attempt the increase of the levels of dopamine within the brain. So our first approach in treating our patient would be the increase of levels, right, with dopamine in the brain. And another approach, the second approach, is to improve the symptoms, right, help alleviate the symptoms of our patient. Now, I want to talk about one of the most common drugs that we use to treat our patient with Parkinson's, and that is Cinnamon, right? Uh, Cinnamon is basically made up of two drugs, which is levodopa, and another drug called carbidopa. That is why cinnamate is sometimes called levodopa carbidopa. Okay? Now, levodopa. With levodopa, it basically enters the brain and is converted uh, to dopamine. And how this is done is basically levodopa is transported to the nerve cells within the brain that produces dopamine. And it is then converted into dopamine for the nerve cells to use as a neurotransmitter. Okay? So again, basically, levodopa enters the brain and is converted to dopamine, therefore increasing the dopamine levels of our patient, right? Now, with carbidopa, right, the other drug carbidopa, with carbidopa, it increases uh, the effectiveness and prevents or lessens many of the side effects of the levodopa, such as nausea and vomiting, right? And there could also be occasional heart rhythm disturbances. And how this works is that with carbidopa, it prevents levodopa from being broken down before it reaches into the brain. And because of this, it allows for a lower dose of levodopa, which causes less symptoms, such as the nausea and vomiting, right? Now, again, just so that you can understand more clearly, I'm going to explain it more simply. Levodopa is transported to the nerve cells in the brain that produces dopamine, right? It is then converted into dopamine for the nerve cells to use it as a neurotransmitter. And as a result, it helps increase the dopamine levels of our patient. Now, with carbidopa, it actually has two, uh, two benefits. Now, with carbidopa, it is usually given to a patient in order to um, help inhibit peripheral metabolism of the levodopa, right? So, first, it aids... It aids for our levodopa to cross the blood-brain barrier within our patient for a greater CNS effect, for a greater central nervous system effect, right? And second, it works by preventing levodopa from being broken down before it reaches the brain, which causes less symptoms of the nausea and vomiting, which is a symptom that our patient with levodopa would have, okay? Now, as the nurse, you have to teach your patient taking sentiment that it is recommended that they take it on an empty stomach at least 30 minutes before or one hour after meals. Again, it's generally recommended that our patient should take sentiment in an empty stomach at least 30 minutes before or one hour after meals. That's it for now. Again, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it knowing that you have learned something that can help you eventually pass your NCLEX exam. And if you do feel that you want to help support me with continuing these videos, these NCLEX videos, just please give me a visit on my website at www.allnursingnotes.com. And there's an NCLEX course in there that's available for everyone that's helped uh, thousands, hundreds and thousands of uh, NCLEX takers pass their exam. Again, thank you so much, guys. Good luck on your exams. I know you will do great.
Thank you and God bless.